Hey there, Mick Owner here, and we're back with some more roommates. So we have just done spring, spring break and all that, and we're at week 18. So we're just going to jump in, and we already know what we're probably screwed because of the stats thing. This thing I did not see throughout this whole playthrough. I did not know that the stat button actually showed this stuff. So, yeah, we're kind of screwed, but we're just going to continue on, and we're just going to go through it until we get to the end. As I sit in my room, I find myself staring at the ceiling. It's been a good year so far. I've had a lot of fun, gotten used to college life, but as I think about what I've done this year, I can't help but feel like I haven't really made a lot of progress on my greater goals. I mean, this college stuff is alright and all, but how is Back Alley Flash really doing? We had a few good shows at Christmas, and we've done one or two shows. I don't know. I feel like I've got to throw one final show over this first year. I really gotta get my name out there. This is gonna take some work, but if we pull it off by the time school starts up next year, we should be a campus legend. Guess we'll play the event. A few hours later, and Memphis and I are sitting at the cafe talking about our options. Look, I'm with you, man. I'm always up for throwing a killer show. The big question is, how are you gonna do it? I mean, Gaz has got a big, uh, got a pretty big band playing. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can do something on campus, though. Look, it's the last quarter of the year. I mean, two things are happening. Freshmen are celebrating their first year and seniors are celebrating graduation. Between the two of those, there's got to be a party we can land. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay, we'll need to figure out a set list and scope the scene to figure out where we're doing this. We're trying to get our names on all these people's lips, am I right? Damn right. And by the time we're done, I don't want these people... Want I don't want those... People to be able to think of anything but us all this summer. All right, you scope the scene. I'll work on the set list. I'll check the picture scene. You work on the set list. Um, I'll scope out the scenes. We'll see what happens. I'll scope it out. Perfect. I'll get to work right away. It'll be easy for you to find a party since you're already a student. My thoughts exactly. Once you get some stuff together and send it over to me, we'll practice a bit beforehand. Sounds awesome. I give Memphis a high five as we, we get up from our table and start heading out. I'm excited. Something tells me this is going to be big. Okay, and we're starting. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're new with new event already. Okay. I give a stretch after a long day of classes. I'm looking at the stairs, thinking how nice it's going to be back in my room. On my way up, I hear Sally and Isabella arguing. I don't know what it's about, but I'm glad I'm not involved. I try to take the long way around and just head over to my room. Once I'm back in my room, I put on some headphones to get back to my business. Well, I was just going to leave them. Okay, it's probably because I don't have enough relationship with any of them, or enough stats. So yeah, I'm probably screwed. Blah 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 blah, I don't care about this stuff. It's still early in the quarter, I'm not sure what to expect from Professor Merriweather. Still, it should at least be entertaining. Okay. Alright, if you're in this class, you've probably got the basics down. Which means it, it's time to start getting serious. Now, normally we do this sort of thing in a lab, but today is special for two reasons. Number one, some brain genius decided to mix glycerin with KMN404 in our labs, meaning there is now an opportunity for alternate environment learning. That means somebody blew up the thing, probably. Secondly, the morgue is full and my contact is on the cheap. Okay. As soon as she said that, one of the professor's TA walks into the room, pushing a cart with a blanket over it. A suspiciously body-shaped lump under the blanket. Oh god. This is a 103 class. I'm pretty sure we're not up to this stuff yet. Wow, how can you just like bring a body? I, is that... I don't even know how... Anyways. As soon as I see the look of glee on the professor's face though, I know we're going to do this. Alright, better question. Who wants to make the first incision? Don't worry, he's dead. He complains very little. Oh god. Around the room, everyone seems unsure what to do with this. A few hands tentatively go up. Come on, come on, you won't get a chance like this for another two or three years. Um, Prof, you know, is this, you know, legal? I'm sorry, I thought this was biology. Apparently, it's intro to law. Jesus Christ. As well, as it turns out, I've probably got a degree in that too, so how about you shut up? Wow, jeez. As a matter of fact, it looks like someone just volunteered to make the take cap I mean the first cut. The professor stares at me as the rest of the class turns to look at me with a mixture of amusement and horror. Well, shit. 
I wait a few moments to see if the professor is going to change her mind, but I finally stand up and walk down to the front of the class. Here you go, Captain Rules. How about you choose our lesson plan for today? Pick a spot. We'll examine wherever you cut up. The professor hands me some plastic gloves, and I, uh, which I put on as she stands there staring at me. She then hands me a scalpel, and I look at the body. Luckily, the TA lets, left his face and lower half covered. I walk over to the corpse and try to figure out what I'm going to do. Cut into the chest, cut into the belly. Let's go into the chest, sure, why not? I look at the body and cover my eyes and reach out towards the chest and make a slash. What was that? He didn't cheat you at poker, you're doing surgery. Give it a real cut, boy. I look at the professor in horror, close my eyes and really try to sink the scalpel into the corpse. That's better, alright. Well, it looks like we're looking at the lungs today. Ugh. Now the first thing you'll notice is the lack of blood. That's because they drain these things, and because I'm not a complete idiot. Wow, okay. The professor looks at me just standing there and makes shooing motions. I slowly return to my seat as Professor Merriweather begins her lecture properly. I can't believe she had me do that. So disgusting. I need to skip this class from now on. Wow, that was it? There was like nothing there. Okay, study, study, hop, hop, blah, 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 blah. blah. Please let there be another event. I would like there to be another event. That would be nice. Blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't look like... Ah! Oh, cafe clerk job unlocked. Alright then. It looks like I locked on saying we're in week 19. But anyways. um, Well, we're going... That was kind of a pretty short week. We'll go one more. Probably won't be too long. That was a short week. I don't want it to be a really short episode. But anyways. Learning, learning. Blah, 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 blah. Skip, 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 skip. Let's get to another event. Here we go. I am starving. Luckily, the cafe is on, is on the way home. A nice sandwich sounds perfect about now. As I open the door, I see Isabella and wave hello. She smiles, but she seems to be busy. Oh, God. As I'm sitting down with my food, I notice Chad coming in. Ugh, this might get ugly. I stick to my seat, but I don't exactly call for his attention. I may not be afraid of a little trouble, but that doesn't mean I need to go looking for it. Besides, I should be here in case Isabella needs my backup, but I don't want to start drama. Luckily, Isabella doesn't notice him at first and keeps serving other customers. Finally, after a few moments, I hear Chad clearing his throat loudly. <clears throat> hey, Isabella, I don't get to have a word or nothing? I don't see why you should get a word in. Do you honestly feel like there's, like there's something to say? Because I don't particularly. Wow, okay. Come on, babe. Don't no, come on. Don't be like that, baby. Look, I'm sorry. I screwed up. Doesn't mean we can't have some good times, right? Jesus Christ. Do you really think that's all it's going to take? Isabella sits down the, the tray she was carrying with enough force that the sound echoes throughout the whole cafe. We're over, you bastard. You had the, your chance at greatness, and you freaking blew it. Now scuttle off and leave me be. Come on, baby. I'm not the only one missing out. We had some good times, right? I've made some mistakes, sure, but I'm coming to you on my knees here. Oh, are you really? Because you don't even look like you're, because you look like you're standing perfectly well to me. You don't even have flowers or chocolates or anything. You're not even trying. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you didn't bring me flowers. I'd hate to think you wasted your money. We're you done here. Come on, you think you can do better than me? Just forgive me, oh, wh wow, wow. Are you kidding? I could find better men than you outside behind the dumpsters. Chad turns red in anger for a moment. Are you kidding me? I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just so, I have these popping freaking muscles. That's all. I'm gonna jump in. Don't help her. Because that's bullshit. I can't stand anymore. I'm not gonna let Chad bully Isabella like this. Hey, crap of reins. I think the lady is telling you to buzz off. Isabella, like father, Grace is turning on me for a moment before she rolls her eyes. I don't remember asking your opinion, douchebag. I'm trying to talk to my girlfriend here. Wow. Oh, is there somewhere be- Oh, is she somewhere behind Isabella? Because I know damn well that- and good that she dumped her ass. Chad starts walking over towards me, puffing out his chest. Didn't anybody tell you to- Didn't anybody- Ever tell you to mess with him? Well, okay, I okay. I that line just makes it. As far as I know, she's not your woman anymore, dumbass. If she ever was, so why don't you accept your fate and move on? I will wipe the floor with you, you insignificant little. 
Chad, if you miss my cafe, you will regret the day you enrolled in the school. Do you understand me? I will end you. Ted looks between the two of us for a few minutes. I'm not sure if he's going to try something. I tense up in case it comes to that. Finally, Chad throws up his hands and, I, and spins and leaves the cafe. Fine, whatever you had. Fine, whatever you had. Fine, whatever. You had something awesome and you lost it, Isabella. I hope that twerp at least you got. Wow. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay. I smirk at Chad leaves defeated. My shirt fades as though. Isabella's like, uh, yeah. There's another thing where it's a bad thing where it's like, I'm trying to help, and Isabella's just gonna say, fuck you. No. It did not look you had, like you had it under control, Isabella, but anyways, whatever. I don't fucking care about you right now. But what the hell was that? Did you not see that I had it under control? I was, like, well, I was just trying to help. I didn't want you seen getting beat up by that dumb asshole. I'm no porcelain doll that needs protecting, Max. I'm a big girl, thank you very much. Take your food and I'll see you at home. I need to blow off some steam for a while. Isabella stalks off in the back room. I grab my things and head off to- Isabella, god. It's gonna be so annoying when, if, well, when I actually do try to go on your route, but still. Like, seriously, I try to help and you freaking get pissed off. It's so annoying. Anyways, we're just gonna keep on going because blah 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 blah. Whatever. Keep going. New event! Finally, I got a little free time to start thinking about this end of the year gig that I've been planning. I need to ask around to see what kind of parties I can dig up. Play the event. Alright, time to find a good party around here. Shouldn't be too hard. This isn't exactly a party free campus. Of course, the easiest way to do that is to talk to the hardi hardest partying person I know. I knock on Isabella and give her my best follow. She opens up. Hey babe, mind if I come? Mind if I come in a second? Sure thing, hot stuff. Okay, you were so pissed off at me last time for trying to help you. All right, what brings you? What brings you down this long, hard trek from your room to mine? Actually, I had a trick. Uh, quick question. I'm trying to throw a gig together here on campus, and I'm wondering if you knew of anyone throwing a big end of the year bash. Oh, uh, funny you should ask. Actually, Anne's trying to throw Anne. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What, Anne? Shy girl extraordinaire? Isabella shrugs and just points me down the hall. Okay, I get them going. A moment later, I'm knocking at Anne's door. Oh, hey, Max, what's going on? How come you didn't tell me about this party you're supposedly trying to throw? Anne looks at me like she's gonna blush, but then she looks like she's trying really hard not to. Well, it's still pretty early in the planning stages. I haven't really told many people about it yet. You have entertainment already? No, that's my next task. Well, as it turns out, I know this incredible band that would love to get a gig going at going at a hot college party. Oh, you mean it? That's terrific. Once we've worked out all where we're going to throw it, I'll talk to you to work out the details. Thanks, Max. This leaves, means a lot to me. Apparently it means so much to her that she swirls away excitedly shutting the door on me. Anyways, I head back to my room and dial up Memphis, filling him in on the details. Luckily, he hasn't been idle, and I have to admit, he's been, picked a pretty good lineup for our set. Okay, so we got our venue and set. Now we just need to figure out how to get the word out. Does she know where she's holding it yet? Well, not yet. I figure we'll just get some flyers done. Fair enough. You want to draw them? I can't do flyers for crap. Maybe we can get Slim to do them. Nah, I'll figure it out. Okay, you want to go flashy or utilitarian? Flashy might draw a bigger crowd, but the crowd we draw won't necessarily be fans, and they'll be harder to please. A utilitarian flyer, though, guess as the crowd knows that what they're in for, even they might not, even though they might not be as big. Let's see how our crowd feel is. Just a simple, yeah. Not think flashy, especially since Anne's throwing the party. I don't think we need like a huge thing, or whatever. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's get ourselves something simple and effective. All right, sounds good. We'll play to a good crowd and maybe even certain some converts on the way. You know who's going to do it? Yeah, I think I know how to get them done. I'll take care of it. Blah blah blah. blah. Here we go. Sunday afternoon. It's gonna be the last one. We're at week twenty, but I'm gonna call it here. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can like, comment. It helps me out. If you want to help the channel grow, you can share this video. If you want to keep up with everything, you can subscribe me on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter, or you can do all of them. It'd be good. But until next time, take care, guys.